All right, everybody, my next guest wrote such classics as Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Fear and Loathing on the Campaign Trail 72, and Hell's Angels. His latest book, Kingdom of Fear, is in bookstores now. Please welcome Hunter S. Thompson. Most people come around the front, but you do things your way, and that's cool. Uh, sir, very nice to have you here. Yeah, good to be here. Hi, hi. Hey, how are you? Good to have you. You and I had an experience once, because you, you were a fan of firearms. You like to fire guns. I enjoy it, yeah. You enjoy guns. You and I once, remember the time we went out? You and I with a camera crew? And oh, we fired bet. all kinds of you guns. Bet. Yeah, I'm remembering. Clearly, that had no impact on your life. That was a Tell big moment that. for me. Oh, no, it was did you, I, I What was your impression night. of me? Did you think I was a good shot? Let's talk about me. Well, do you, how, how, was I as a, how was I as a marksman? What'd you think? Me, me, me. Yeah, all right. Uh, that was good. Late night with who? I heard you had a, I heard you had a uh, drug problem, but this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> those rumors are not true. Those are some good times you and I had. Remember, we were firing well, those fun. guns. You want to take a quick uh, yeah. tour down memory lane? This Absolutely. was just a couple of years ago, I think. I forget when this yeah, was. We've been good. doing this show. Come an original on. experience. This is an original experience. Yeah. Let's show this to the people. Yeah, good. This is really a wonderful clip. You know, shoot a few things. And loosen us up. Yeah. I'm going to go throw up. I gotta get that bear. Or go for it. Very good. Oh, ah, that'll teach that bear. Thank you. Let me get my earbuds on. I'm losing the brain thing. Yeah, you gotta. I like the safety guy just said, <laughs> move your whiskey before you start shooting. You dirty animal! What's Bill Buckner going to think when he's watching at home and he That's sees nice. this? Uh, riddle that bear forever. That man was holding a machine gun about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, if I sight it on that. On the right shoulder, sort of. Just, just yeah. There, I think you'll get him good. Oh, yeah. yeah I believe he got him. He's going to go and fire. Yeah! yeah! All right! Yo, man. You can look at this and say war is not horrible. I guess it is all about me at the end of the day. Okay. But let's talk a little controversial. Uh, last year, it was a total accident, and your assistant's fine now, but you accidentally shot your assistant. No. Let's talk about that. Well, it was not uh, that way. She... Uh, rushed into the path of a uh, shotgun pellet. So you were shooting a shotgun and your assistant happened to be in the way? I was shooting at a bear in front of her door. And, uh, there's, a, there's a bear in front of her door? Uh -huh. Yeah, different house, you know. And uh, yeah, I called her and said, don't go out your door, there's a bear there. And uh, yeah, I was pissed off. Uh, Anita got me out of bed and said, there's a bear outside. But, but I just wanted to move it. You know, it was right in front of her door. She'd step on it. Did you think for a second of using the McConaughey method of rushing the bear <laughs> and hugging it and caressing right. it? <laughs> no, this is your method. It's quite different. Well, mine works. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, shot, you shot at the bear, and, and what happened? She came out her door around the same time. Well, uh, instead of uh, you know, not opening her door, like some, you know, the, the reverse thing, like do not touch, wet paint. Yeah. Uh, bang, right out the door, just as I pull the trigger. And I, I don't shoot at the bear, I shoot at the gravel, right underneath it. 
Southern rocks bounce up, and it gets him and stings him in the ass, but it doesn't... Uh, doesn't hurt the bear. No, no. Yeah, he got up kind of annoyed and lumbered off. But just as I pulled the trigger, Deborah stepped out her door, and bang, you know, bounce here, bounce there. So, yeah, I think two pellets. It embarrassed me, embarrassed me, it ruined my safety record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a terrible thing for you. <laughs> but your assistant's fine now. Everything's oh, yeah, fine. It all got. She was fine, and I know her. Yeah, it, uh, it made a lot of headlines, and people got yeah. excited. I wanted to kill the bitch. I lured her out there, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I didn't> <laughs> uh, now you've been portrayed in film not just once but twice. Johnny Depp played you in in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, and apparently he, uh, he practically lived with you and shadowed your every footstep so that he could learn how to be Hunter S. Thompson. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he came out there, damn it. What's the matter? Never mind, never mind. Uh... <laughs> hey, you see my S shoes here? Yeah, I want you to get these things. Yes, yeah. thank you. I made these shoes. You yes. made those? I made them, yeah. You didn't make those. Those have, those have the Nike swoosh on them. <laughs> you didn't make those. Hold that up. Yeah. Well, why, if you're making those shoes, why are you putting the Nike swoosh on them? Yeah, it kind of has a panache to it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I made yeah. this myself. It's pretty nice. Oh, Isn't that nice? I made yeah. that. Something I like to wear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a bracelet or two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I like to... So, Please. so Johnny Depp, he lived with you and oh, he... Oh, yeah, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> yeah. The serious actor, apparently, will, uh... Well, I, yeah, Johnny is serious. But the bastard moved in, we had him, uh, uh, in front of a, a cell in the basement. Johnny Depp slept in your basement. Yeah, yeah, in a, you know, in the guest room, sort of, but it's a yeah. dark, dark place. <laughs> it has all kind of books in it, and it uh -huh. also had, uh... He discovered a, uh, a keg of uh, dynamite. Or, you know, flash powder, actually gunpowder, right next to his bed. What was dynamite, <laughs> what was dynamite doing next to his bed? Why do you have all this dynamite? <laughs> well, for bombs. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh oh No, I'm just, uh -oh. damn. Just You're gonna kidding. be making some bombs, it's good to have dynamite around. You're making a cake, have some flour. Bombs or making bombs? Yeah, yeah. Don't talk to me about that. You, what do you mean making bombs? Yeah. Why do you wanna make bombs? I'm, I'm guilty. <laughs> How did this get turned around to me? I'm not making bombs. You're the one making bombs and fake Nike sneakers in your basement. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. You know what? This is ridiculous. We don't have any time. <clears throat> There's so much. We haven't even gotten to any of our, but we're completely out of time. You have to come back. We have to talk well, about all me, of these let things. Let me just explain one thing to you. Yes. That this is the kingdom of fear, as I say here. Oh, and the you book You are a perfect example of, of being a vict victim. You've, uh, it's clearly rattled you badly. And, uh, I am a victim? Yeah. Why? How do you say I'm a victim? How am I a victim? Look at me. I'm happy-go-lucky. I'm a happy guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> no, don't worry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you just touched me. I know, I know. I know. And I liked it. Uh, <laughs> Kingdom of Fear by Hunter S. Thompson uh, is out there right now. Go out and get this book. Sir, thank you very much for being here, for making time for us. We'll take a break, everybody. We'll be right back. Stick around.